careful, morph into a big truck. We need to bring all these machines to the new building site. Not in my city. Here we are, the new building site. Hey, there's a truck here already. Yep, that's the only truck we didn't have to bring. It came by itself. It's a robot dump truck that we got from Professor Tsong. I remember you. <laughs> Builder Lawrence, all your machines fell from your truck, and it's causing mayhem in my city. Oh, you are right. The truck is empty. What do we do now? Morphle and the robot dump truck could go find all the machines. Yes, that's a great idea. Morphle, morph into a dump truck, too! Let's play a game! Whoever brings back the most machines wins! Okay, Morphle, let's find some machines! Truck found his first machine, but we'll get the next one. Look, Morphle, those people are stuck in the cement. Morphle, morph into a jackhammer. Morpho, 
Turtle, morph into a robot. The Wrecking Bandits will strike again. Help you rebuild your house. We should stop the game and work together. the tallest building in the whole city. But none of our cranes are tall enough to finish the project. Mila, could you ask Morphle to morph into a big crane? Morphle, morph into the biggest crane in the whole world. Amazing! Thanks a ton, Morphle. This is the greatest building this city has ever seen. I think you did super duper well, Morphle. Now let's go play in the park. Unbelievable! Where did that wind come from all of a sudden? I don't know. It's not windy anymore. <gasps> Look!
lot more fun than I thought. Up in my cloud castle, I'm always alone. We're very sorry. We didn't know that we built our skyscraper right through your castle. We will start over and build a new skyscraper somewhere else. I have better plan. I love my cloud castle, but up here I have nobody to play with. For my plan, I need your help. accidentally dropped this life ray that I was going to present at the National Science Conference, and it zapped your toy dinosaurs to life. But it broke, and I can't zap the dinosaurs back again. Hmm. Mila, can you look after them while I fix my life ray? Of course, Professor Rashid. I'm sure we'll have lots of fun together. Great. I'll be back as soon as I can. Toy dinosaurs, while we wait for the professor to return, let's play a game!
win, but now I'm tired. Yeah, fun. Oh, oh, hungry. Yeah, we should get something to eat. Oh, I know. Let's have a picnic. Yay! Yay! Ah, there we go. That took longer than expected, but it's fixed now. Let's go back to the toy dinosaurs right away. I hope nothing bad has happened while I was gone. Oh, tumbling test tubes! Professor, do you want to join the picnic? We've been having great fun! Thank you, Mila, but I think it's time to zap the dinosaurs back into toys. Steady. Oh! Professor Rashid, I don't think the toy dinosaurs want to go back to being toys. They've been having much more fun as living dinosaurs. Yes, Mila. But the city is no place for dinosaurs. Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. Maybe Zookeeper Kenneth has a place for them. What's this? Are those giant toy dinosaurs? Yeah, Professor Rashid accidentally zapped them with his life ray. Do you have a place for the toy dinosaurs to live, Zookeeper Kenneth? Well, the zoo only has one place for big animals, and the elephants already live there. But... During my travels, I think I spotted an uninhabited island where the toy dinosaurs could live. Let's go there right away, Morphle. There it is! again as well. Bye, toy dinosaurs! And the new champion of the world is... Huh? A little kid? Tell us, little girl, is this the most happy moment of your life? <laughs> no, Morphle and I think there are lots of things more important than winning. <laughs> yeah, sure. Hello, people of Earth! Wow! We are gathering the fastest racers from every planet to compete in the first motorcycle Grand Prix of the universe. And you 
are clearly the fastest on this planet. Follow us! Morpho, morph into a space bike! Watch out, Morpho! A meteorite! Great move! Meteorites are the most dangerous thing a space biker can come across! Get ready... Set... Saving me, Mila! And Morpho. Unfortunately, you lost the race because you helped me. That's okay. Some things are more important than winning awards. Well, you might not have won an award, but there is something else you won. Oh? My friendship. Come with me. I will show you around in space. I think he should go see a doctor. Morphle, morph into an ambulance. very much for bringing Troy to the hospital, Mila and Morphle. When I grow up, I want to be a doctor too. That way I can help people get better, just like you. That's very nice, Mila, but I will tell you a secret. It's not just people that I help. I am also the doctor that treats all the mythological creatures that live in and around this city. 
it would be a great help if I could use this amazing ambulance to visit my next mythological patients. Yeah, of course! Our first stop is Starfish Island. Our next patient is the mountain giant. Let's try again, Morphle. <sighs> How will we ever reach the mountain giant? I have an idea. Morphle, add a jet engine to the ambulance. Thank you so much. Morphle was a great... <laughs> oh no! It looks like Morphle the ambulance caught the flu from one of our patients. Poor Morphle. Please help Morphle get better, Doctor. I'll give Morphle some medicine. But the rest is up to you, Mila. Because the most important thing Morphle needs now is love and care. This healthy soup, Morphle. Once upon a time, there was a little red ambulance, and it caught the flu, and it was very sick. But the little red ambulance also had. The jungle, the best place for my favorite of hobbies. Wildlife photography. Morpho, morph into a lion. The kings of the jungle. You shouldn't believe everything they say on TV, Mila. There are no lions in the jungle. Lions live in the savanna. But I don't see any other animals here either. Ah, there's one.
help him out. There you are. I finally got a picture of an animal. We can go home now. Can we stay for a bit longer? Morphle the king of the jungle likes it here. Ah, <sighs> Mila, I told you, lions are not from the jungle. So they can't be the kings of the jungle. I'm trying to get this flying lion to fly, but it's too scared. Poor thing. Today its new human companion is coming to pick it up, and he was promised a flying lion. <sighs> I've been trying all night. I'm so <sighs> tired. I don't know what to... to not be afraid of flying anymore. Hello? Is there anybody here? I am looking for my flying lion. Oh, I don't want to wake him up. I'll just take the flying lion myself. Ah, here it is. We will show you that it's not scary to fly. Morphle, morph into a hot air balloon. making the lion more scared. Hmm, I have a plan. I think we should stop trying to teach you how to fly for now, lion. Let's play a game instead. Let's play Hot Lava Monster. The game is that you can't touch the floor because that's the lava. Only 
the lava monster can touch the floor, and he has to catch the other players. Morph into a lava monster, Morphle. some music. <laughs> Mila, Morphle, I need your help. I can't find the noise monster. Not in my city. That's him! Every time the noise monster hears a loud noise, it grows. And if he becomes any bigger, that building he's on will collapse. But how do we get them up there? Wow! Lion is amazing at flying. We all have to be very quiet, or else the noise monster will grow again. Don't worry. I'll get everybody to be quiet. Everybody be quiet! <gasps> things in the whole world. In fact, we've studied it for our latest invention, the world's bounciest bouncy ball. Look! Wow! What are you going to use it for, Professor Rashid? Use it for? I hadn't thought of that, actually. I guess I usually don't really think ahead. But anyway, it's really cool. Look, it's so bouncy that once you throw it, it's almost impossible to catch. Wow! It is really cool. Toppling test tubes. I didn't think ahead again. How am I going to catch it now? We have to get that ball back. I'll go get my hovercraft. 
go after it, Morphle. Not in my city. It is to think ahead. Tumbling test tubes. I forgot to fill up the gas tank. <laughs> found those eggs with my time machine. They were just laying there in the past with no parents to take care of them. Morpho, morph into a triceratops. Dinosaurs don't exist anymore. But with this special time machine, we can find different dinosaurs from millions of years ago and zap them right into our time so we can study them. But we don't need this one here right now. Let's send him home. Sheet. Oh no! Mila, use the time machine to zap me back into our time! I'll try! Yes! Great! Now zap me! Oops! Oh no! Try again! Oh no! 
He broke the time machine. Now we can't send the dinosaurs back to their time. Mila, you and Morphle have to go find my friend, Professor Tsong. She's a scientist too. She will be able to fix the time machine. Okay. Watch out, Morphle. That's a T-Rex. T-Rex no eat babies. Let's go, Morphle. We have to find Professor Tsong. Come, Morphle, this way. The dinosaurs are walking all through the city. Watch out, Morphle! It's the T-Rex! T-Rex no eat babies! This is where Professor Tsong lives! Professor Tsong! Mila, Morphle, what's going on? Please help us fix this time machine! We need to zap the T-Rex back into its own time. Oh no! The T-Rex is almost here! Okay, all done! Quick, Morpho, zap him! <laughs> They fixed the time machine! Now let's send the other dinosaurs back too! Thank you so much for saving me, Mila Morphle. I've talked about it with Professor Tsong, and maybe it's best if we send the Triceratops babies back to their time too. But you said the eggs didn't have a mommy or daddy to protect them. Uh, yeah, but... Morphle, no send back babies. But we can't keep them, Morphle. Mommy and daddy only allow me one pet. And I already have you! Don't worry, Morpho! I know how we can find a good home for them! Morpho! Do you know what I want to be when I grow up? Panda bear! <laughs> no, silly! I want to be a bus driver! Oh, a bus driver! Morphle! Morph into a big red bus! Let's go, Morphle! the bus stop! Hello there. To the police station, please. Yes, sir. Can I please see our ticket? Oh, hi, Mila. I'm going to my laboratory. Okay. This naughty monkey and myself are heading to the zoo. Sure. I have to go to my auntie, the witch. She lives in a little house 
up on the highest mountain outside the city. Oh, your aunt is a witch? Yeah, and I'm a witch too. My auntie sent me a magic wand for my birthday. I'm going to visit her so she can teach me how to use it. The wand never works the way I want it to. Hmm, that sounds important. We should bring you to your destination first. Okay, Mr. Police Officer. Morpho, to the big mountain outside of the city. Zap us here, Zookeeper Kenneth. I didn't do it on purpose. The little witch girl was right. This magic wand is difficult to use. I'll try one more time. Magic wand, bring us back home. use the magic wand anymore. We should bring it back to the little witch girl and her aunt as quickly as possible. Morpho! Morph into a flying bus! Now let's fly to the mountain top where the witch lives! you your magic wand. We tried to use it, but it didn't work the way we wanted it to. Well, I know how to use it very well. The trick is, you need to make your magic spell rhyme. Where do you need to go, ma'am? To my laboratory. Pay close attention, my student. Magic wand, please do something for me. And bring this lady to her laboratory. The next thing I want my little wand to do is to bring these two fellows to the zoo. And this policeman is also in the wrong location. Please, Wand, bring him to the police station. Now you try. Okay. It's getting 
getting late, so Magic Wand, please go ahead and bring my new friends to their bed. 